YouTube, what's happening? It is Monday, September 16th. And as you can see, we only have 10 games to talk about today. We are 13 days away from the end of the regular season. Then the playoffs begin when the fun starts. Weird things are happening right now, which is probably why we went four and three and hit the money line parlay, which made us earn 8.41 units of profit yesterday. Put us back up to damn near 20 units. We will take that each and every day. If you want these plays typed out for you in a nice list, they're still in the video. You just have to watch the video. And I understand people don't have time. You can just go become a member. It's so easy. Look, you can, it's over there on YouTube. You become a YouTube member, you can do it on Patreon, or you can just go to Discord. It's all there for you. Become a member, you get it typed out for you, no problem. But outside of that, the plays are going to be here in the videos here for baseball. Not a problem. We're not changing that up anytime soon. So um, today we have 10 games to talk about. We have um, some new matchups, some interesting matchups. So we have uh, no one elim got eliminated yesterday. The most recent was Oakland two days ago. So still everybody else is alive. So that kind of matters. Uh, enough talking about that. We have 10 games. Let's go ahead and jump to that first game right now. All right. First up, we've got Minnesota and Cleveland. It's a pick them with a seven and a half total. Nothing stands out there. We look at the stats. And you can see Minnesota has the advantage in the runs, but the averages are pretty close and neither one strikes out much. But Minnesota is trending up a little bit based on how they did the last game. So I would leave Minnesota a little bit on the offense, but not by much. Uh, let's pop over to the pitchers and look a little closer. Pablo's going out there. You can see what he has done. Pretty good numbers. Boys going out there for Cleveland. Same story. Pretty good numbers. Uh, can't complain either way. Both are pretty good. Let's look over. We're even going to look at props today. We have time for it, so we're going to do it. Pablo, history versus Cleveland. You can see everything on here. E almost everything. Let me zoom out one. Bam. Now we can see everything. All right. So one, three, nothing. I mean, we got some really good averages, but no home runs to worry about. 420 now over 14 at bats is quite impressive for uh, MS, but mm, uh, and. Uh, I don't even care about the whole season anymore because that was that, that factors in literally everything from April. I don't care about April, so I care about what you've done lately. Oh, hits, strikeouts. Let's see, hits. He's given up. Hits have gone up, but the averages are still around twentieth. I don't like that. No, I'm not liking any of these. It's been a, it's a pass to this point so far. We have not got to anything that tells me not to take a pass. Uh, Santana's got a home run of four oh nine and twenty two at bats. Against lefties, you see how they do. Let's see, strikeouts. Pretty high, pretty good. Decent. Decent, can't complain, but not against these teams. I'm not taking strikeout props. Mm -mm. And if we want to look at the just straight bats, we want to come here and we want to find the game and go apply. And, oh, we actually have some bats. They're doing everything. Farmer's doing good. Nine, nine out of ten on an over half HRR. Uh, Correa, Santana, Quan walks again. Those Quan walks are paying off like crazy. Plus 220 on the last five, 70%. So I know somebody in the comments keeps taking Quan walks and keeps cashing on them. So yeah, they, they it might be a move. So uh, for me, I'm going to be conservative though. We're, we're, I'm trying to save that 20 units. I'm trying to get to the playoffs. So <laughs> we're, we're going conservative as hell. So I'm not liking any of these. None of these props are screaming at me to take them. So I'm going to pass in this entire game. Move on to the next one. All right, next up, we got Washington and New York. New York is a heavy favorite at 184. Seven and a half is your total. Looking at the stats, 66 and a half percent. Nerfy is crazy this time of year. Uh, we can see they're both in the top 15 when it comes to the runs, but they're uh, both 20th and 9th when it comes to average. So even though the Mets fell off a cliff in their last game, I still lean the Mets a little bit, even with the trend line going down. Uh, not by much. I mean, slim, slim lean there. So, and neither team strikes out much. So, um, let's look over at their actual um, pitchers. Manea's going out there for New York, and we can see what he has done. Um, Earn runs have been pretty consistent. Three, 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 zero, four, one. Not bad. Irvin's been less consistent. Obviously, four, two, seven, six, one. Not exactly what you're looking for. I would lean Manea in this one. So. Popping over to the props. We're going to dig deeper. Let's Jake Irvin. Let's look at your history and stuff. History. What do we got? Lindor, which I mean, he left the game yesterday. He's not, I doubt, I highly doubt he's playing today. Highly doubt it. Uh, he was getting imaging done today, I think. So there's no shot he's going to play today. I can't see it. So if anything, they'll probably just put him on a 15 day or until the playoffs start, I'm guessing, because the Mets are close enough. They're 81 and 68. So I think they'll be all right. Uh, Nimmo, you can see what he's done. Nothing else is really standing out. Um, some green there against righties. 
nothing stands out impressively. Hits were up until he faced the Braves. He shut down the Braves offense, but that's not exactly the hardest thing to do. So, <laughs> so uh, outs. Yeah, okay, cool. Manea, let's look at your info. Ooh, we got some 188 green. That's, that's higher than your season average. That's hilarious. Uh, Gallo, you are hilariously bad this year. Vargas is not good, so okay. All right. Against lefties, uh, we got a 412. Cruz is a 412 down here, so, but we know he doesn't, you yeah, know, so. Outs, strikeouts. Mm -mm. Two all over the place. Not feeling this. And let's look at the bats. Uh, Jose Tenya is over half in the last 10 games and five games on HRR. I mean, if you feel like taking that prop, I'm probably not taking a single bat prop, but I know some people like to see the bat props, so I will show those because somebody asked in the comments yesterday. So um, there, I will show them off. Unless something looks amazing, I mean, probably not. So there you go. Uh, for me, I'm going to lean on the Mets money line today. We'll take them in the money line. Uh, I don't like anything else, really. I don't like the total. I don't like the sub. Yeah, we'll take the Mets money line and move on to the next game. All right, next up, we got the Dodgers and the Braves. We can see that the Dodgers are slight favorites. It's basically a pick them seven and a half. Uh, let's look at the stats a little bit. We can see 41% nerfy. Braves offense is doing better in three games, but yesterday or last night, it was nine to two, mainly because the Dodgers put up a touchdown in the ninth inning. So it was tied at two. Then all of a sudden, it was... It was nine to two. So yeah, love that for my over bet I had. That was great. Uh, let's see, the averages are both hanging out in the uh, middle part. Nothing stands out. Dodgers, bottom 10 of strikeouts. Braves doing good strikeouts. So this one's close. I wouldn't, I don't lean anything in this one so far. Let's look at the pitchers and see if anything stands out. We got Yamamoto going out there for the Doyers. We can see what they have done recently. Uh, nothing. I mean, he's he's yeah, he's had one start since he was out for a while. So in this one start, he looked good for four innings. So let's see how many innings they let him pitch. It might be four. It might be five. His pitch count was 59 before they pulled him. I can't see them going much higher than that right now. Slowly work his way back uh, against Max Freed Fried Chicken over here. You can see what he has done. Uh, yeah, you can see his numbers of all the games on the screen. This is his worst game. It was 11 hits and four earned against Washington. That's that's very unlike him. So. Uh, let's go to props, see if anything stands out for the prop world. Uh, let's see, we're on max first. Max, a lot of red. Oh, 364 and 22 at bats for Rojas, but only at 0.871. Hmm, you get on base, but not don't do anything with it. Uh, Taylor, 0 0.059. Otani's at three, three for three with a home run. That's worth noting, but mm, a lot of people struggle. Okay. Against lefties, you see how the Dodgers do all year. I mean, we knew this. Nothing stands out. It's nothing new. Hits, strikeouts, hits, earn runs, walks. Mm -mm. Don't like any of these props. Okay. Let's look at Yamamoto. That was a lot of green. I don't know what that was, but we're going to go back and look at it here in a second. No history. Dod I mean, Braves history versus righties this year is not the best. The Braves just are not a good offensive team. They're just not. So, strikeouts. Okay. And the strikeouts are 21st and 4th for the Braves. Yeah, can't do that. Sorry. 2024. I mean, it's four and a half, but it really, we, that, that tells you he's not going to pitch many innings. That's all it is. He still had eight strikeouts against the Cubs. But, I mean, if you want to take four and a half, by all means, I can't do it. I, I can't. I need, I mean, the Braves are doing great at strikeouts right now. We saw, look, look again, 4th. They had, yeah. They've been great at strikeouts recently, so I can't go against a team that's seeing the ball well. So, back to props. Um, hits and walks. Yeah, no, none of that. Let's go to the bats. Who stands out? Oh, Soler and Olsen. Those are the two we're doing decently. And then Mookie and Harris. And, okay, not like any of those. All right, so for me, I personally don't like any of this, so I don't lean, lean anything. For me, this is going to be a straight pass and move on to the next game. All right, next up, we got Oakland and Chicago. Cubs are 188. Seven and a half is the total. We'll look at the stats and we can see how they have done. Chicago's still pretty much on fire. Oakland's 
it eliminated. So they're, they're slowly starting to give up. They realize in 13 days their vacation starts. So the veterans are ready. And uh, I just know they are. The young ones that are playing, I mean, they're, they're going to try hard, but I don't expect everybody to try hard. You can't when you're eliminated. Just no, the whole team's not going to try hard. It just doesn't work that way. So you can see how they do. They're striking out a ton. They're 12th at average. But yeah, we lean Cubs on this one hard, hard on Cubs. So let's go next to the schedules. And we want pitchers. We got Joey going out there. We can see what Joey's done. Joey's been pretty good. Can't complain like that. Again, Shota, who has been, uh, I mean, decent as well. I mean, he pitches more. Does he pitch more innings? Yeah, Joey's more. Yeah, so I would still take the Cubs here. So, and uh, we're going to look at Shota, some uh, Shota, Shota. We're going to look at some of his strikeout props for sure because Oakland is striking out a ton right now. So let's look at the props. Let's dig into it a little bit. Uh, right now, I'm probably taking Cubs money line for sure. Uh, but we will look and see if there's a prop to go with it. Uh, no history. Oakland versus lefties is just abysmal. Lots of lots of ones. Uh, you, you two don't even play. If you do play, you're just not good. So uh, outs, okay, strikeouts. Your number is at six and a half. You've gone over six and a half, 48% of the year. Oakland is, to refresh us real quick, Oakland is 27th in the last three at 10, 29th in the last week, and 28th in the last two weeks, including 10. They're going to give up about 10 strikeouts. That's what they're going to do. They're going to strike out about 10 times. If I can get seven of those from Shota, I am happy. So I will be taking that for sure. So we're taking the Cubs money line, and we're going to take some Shota over. 6.5 case is that the best number do we like that number let's go back six and a half the good number is 105 uh i mean if you want to be brave go five and a half. you know sometimes you might want to be just safe just try to do a layup instead of a, a three-pointer and maybe you want to go five and a half strikeouts and just take that value maybe that's what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna be a little safer on my props we're gonna take show to over five and a half strikeouts instead of six and a half so I would take either, but five and a half. He hits it at a 63% clip this year. And if against Oakland, I'm just trying to get some wins on the board. So, um, yeah, we'll take show to five and a half strikeouts with that Cubs money line. Let's keep it moving. Let's. What else do we see that we like? Uh, let's go back to the last 10. I don't, I'm not going to take anything else, probably. Probably not, but we will show it all. Joey has no history. Cubs against Rice is kind of bad as well, but they've been bad all year, and the bats have been on fire recently, so... We take the trends when they're hot. That's what we do around here. That's what we've always done. That's why we're up all year, because we do that. So nobody else has bet 1,500 games and are up funny this year. I can pretty much guarantee you that. <laughs> Find me someone who bets as many games as I do and is up. You bet you can't. So I don't know how it's happening. So and we just go by trends. That's what we do. On the bats. Ooh, damn. There's a lot of green bats. Uh, yeah. If you want a batter prop. By all means, enjoy Oakland, 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 Oakland. But Oakland just played Chicago, the White Sox, right? Didn't they? Yeah, yeah. So take that with a grain of salt. Let's be, let's be a little. Let's look at that schedule yesterday. That was the White Sox they played. Yeah, it was the White Sox. So be a little cautious with all this green. So I, I got what I want. I got the Cubs and Shota. We're gonna take those two and move on to the next game. All right, next up we got Phillies and Brewers. It is a pick 'em essentially with a eight total. Looking at the stats, we see 42% nerfy base of what they've done. Milwaukee's offense in the last three games have been clicky clicky. They have been great. Uh, they have figured it out. 10 runs yesterday. Uh, it was a bunch before that. They have been on fire. Uh, they are striking out. They're swinging and everything. So, But when they hit it, it's going far and they're getting runs. But when they miss, they miss a lot. So... Uh, it is possible to hit a strikeout prop and still lose and hit some overs. So because Philly's offense is back to struggling again. So we're leading Milwaukee in this one. Um, let's go over to the pitchers. Ranger Suarez is going out there and we see he was horrible. If you give it 12 hits to Tampa, I'm going to call you horrible. So that's a lot of hits. You were good against Miami. You weren't good against Atlanta. So, yeah. Uh, Savale is going out there and you see what he has done. He's been pretty decent. Can't complain about his recent games. His last time he had a bad game was probably Washington on the 8-3. So, and that was only five earned runs. So that's not bad. I mean, yeah, pretty good. I, I would lean Savale in this one. So now we have a Milwaukee bat lean heavily and we have a Milwaukee pitcher lean slightly. So yeah, now we're definitely leaning Milwaukee. Let's look at the props. See if anything makes us lean the other way. Cause maybe... 
Milwaukee str struggles against Horus historically. There could be something. You never know. That's why we do these things. Uh, we have no history for Savali against Philly, and righties are... Mm, even the Reds are still using 280s. 280, yeah. So I'm not, I'm not worried about this. Um, but they're still red, so... I don't expect much out of the Phillies today, but they do have a history of being decent offensively this year, so that's why the yearly stat was higher. I don't like any of the props for you. Uh, Suarez, I'm probably not going to like your props either. Uh, let's see. What are... I mean, come on. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, give Suarez. Contreras has a 438, three home runs in 16 at-bats. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm taking Milwaukee. Let me just go ahead and just type that in. M-I-L-M-L. -L. Milwaukee money line for sure. And then you can see how everybody else has done this year. It's Milwaukee. They've been pretty decent. Can't complain. Uh, hits, strikeouts, four and a half, and you can't even get two against Tampa? Get out of here. I would never take that strikeout prop at you. Ugh, garbage. There we go. Okay, here we go. We have bats. Eight, Vermuto and Tarong. Nope. Don't like any of that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take Milwaukee in the money line this one. I'm not going to take anything else. And we'll move on to the next game. All right, next up we got Detroit and Kansas City. KC's 145 uh, on the money line. Eight and a half is your total. However, we don't know who's pitching for Detroit because if I show you the schedule, uh, we have a good old fat undecided here next to Lugo because Detroit loves to play these games where they don't know who's going to pitch. Detroit's been doing this most of the year. They kind of just want to hide their pitcher. It's like, what? Come on. Everyone else is, come on. You got, do what you got to do. We know what you, come on. So, yeah, it's annoying. Uh, let's go back to the stats. Let's pop over here. We can see 47%. We can see what the bats do. Detroit's bats have cooled off hard. They, they were decent, but now they have just been terrible recently. So uh, Kansas City has been, they're downtrending a little bit. This game is kind of ugly. We don't know who's pitching for Detroit. If it ain't school, I really don't care. So, <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, let's look at the actual pitcher we can. We can look at Lugo. So we will look at Lugo. Uh, Lugo in his last few games outside of this Philly game. He got beat up. Uh, he looked great in his other four games. So uh, including the Yankees three hit gem for seven innings and 10 K's. He shut down the Yankees offense. He shut down Cleveland's offense. So yeah. All right. I lean KC here, but I probably still lean KC because most likely the choice going to throw out like a bullpen reliever, maybe call up somebody from the minors. They're going to do something as long as any school, I don't care. So I'm probably taking KC on the money line because the odds were, 145, and I get Lugo and statistically little, statistically better offense versus Detroit. Yeah, I like that. So uh, let's go to the props. We can look at Lugo. And can we look at bats? I think we can. So we will take what we can. We will hunt for profits. Um, yeah, there's a lot of zeros for, against Lugo historically. Uh, Veerling's three for 10, and that's about it. And McKinstry's got a home run, but that's it. Against righties, Detroit's one of those teams that just hasn't been good offensively this year. We know this. Nothing new in this point of the season. Uh, strikeouts, I would not take any props with them. I don't, mm -mm. I'll show them, but I ain't doing it. Nope. Uh, bats. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Omaha, Omaha. We got to, no, go, go somewhere else. No. <laughs> All right. We had an audible out of that one. That was terrible. Um, yeah, we're going to take this KC 145 because as long as any school, I don't give a damn who's going out there for Detroit. So, uh, KC Moneyline, move on to the next game. All right, next up, we got Pittsburgh and St. Louis. We have Pittsburgh as 135 because Skeens is pitching today. We know this. Seven is the total. Looking at the stats, we see 65% nerfy because Skeens never gets run support when he pitches. That's just a fact. Look at every star pitcher. Do they ever get run support? No, they don't. So, uh, 23 for guaranteed Pittsburgh is not going to have many runs today because one, they just don't score that many runs as it is. Uh, St. Louis also has little run support as well. So nerfy, sure. You can throw a nerfy out there. Why not? You want to have fun? Be brave. Pittsburgh striking out the worst in the majors. St. Louis is the best strikeout team right now. So that's a fun one. A lot of people are going to take skiing strikeouts and St. Louis is sitting there with a 5.3 in their last three games. They are seeing the ball extremely well. Um, if watch watch schemes be six and a half on strikeouts and he only gets like five just just watch i haven't seen it yet. i have not looked so let's look closer let's look at the stats oh schemes way be done he had nine k's last time against miami that was great your games have been good obviously so and palante is going out there for santa Luis. 
Uh, Palante is not the best. He's consistent, but then he had a five for five over here against Milwaukee, which we saw Milwaukee's offense is on fire right now. So that doesn't matter as much. So props. Let's go to props. Six and a half. Yep, there it is. Yep. Called it. I knew it. And it's going to be favored, I bet, too. I have not looked that far. What are we on skeins? I bet it's favored. History is history. Uh, Burleson's 429, seven at bats with, you know, a lot, of, a lot of strikeouts. The strikeout rates could be higher. I figured they'd be higher on some of these. So, um, averages for the season. Uh, St. Louis is middle twos. There, there's a mid average team in batting. Nothing stands out there. Hits, uh, six strikeouts. Minus 113 is your best number. Up to minus 120. Um, six and a half head to head. He got eight both times he faced St. Louis. So, I mean, it was June and July. Now we are in September. So that's a fun one. Uh, for the whole season, he's gone over six and a half, 70% of the time. This is going to be a very, very popular bet today. I already know it. People are going to eat up this six and a half. I mean, I can't. I can't. I cannot go against my own stats. And my stats say they're the best strikeout team in the league right now. And no, I'd rather not lose money versus win money on this, something like this. So if you're betting it, which I'm pretty sure some of you are, hey, I wish you the best of luck because, I mean, you might need it. So <laughs> I'm just saying, I uh, hope you hit it. I don't I don't want anyone to fail unless you're going directly against my own bet. Then I want you to fail because I want to win. But if I'm not betting it, hey, I hope you win. So that's how it should be. So uh, that's the strikeouts. Earn runs, walks, hits, outs. Yeah, nothing else. All right, let's pop over to Palante. Palante history. Um... Reynolds has two home runs and only a buck 43 batting. That's hilarious. Outside of that, nothing else is really standing out. Let's see. Pittsburgh is not a good offensive team. We know that. Strikeouts, hits, earn runs, walks, outs. Oh, if anything, I think I might take the under of seven. This feels like a 2-1 final, doesn't it? That's what exactly what it feels like. For the bats, Reynolds is doing good. Did I just say Reynolds' name? Did I just say you? I did. You got a buck 43 history against the dude, though, so I can't take that. Uh, Grandel, Grandel walks. I mean, if you want to do a walk parlay with him and the uh, uh, Quan, there you go. Cruz, okay. Okay, so for me, um, oh, all right. Let's go to the stats. Let's, let's, hmm. You know what? I'm going to put words. I'm, I'm going to take my own. I'm, oh, I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. I think neither team gets much run support. I don't... F mm. No, 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 no. No. Pass, pass, pass. I was going to do Nerfy. I was going to do Nerfy, but I literally just talked myself out of it. Because I, I, I envisioned somebody giving up a first inning home run. That's what I... I just saw the vision. So, yeah, we're going to pass. I lean Nerfy. I lean under. But we're going to pass. Mm -mm. Good luck on your Kings K-Prop, though. I know you're taking it, so good luck. Next game. All right, next up, we have Arizona and Colorado. It is in Coors. Arizona is 170. 11 and a half is the total. Looking at the stats, you can see the number one offense is had in the Coors field. That's a fun one. And Colorado has some pop, too, even though the last game wasn't the best form offensively. Pitching-wise, this guy's going out there for Colorado. Uh, according to ESPN, we have Antonio Senzatella. We can see what he's done. He has not pitched since May. Welcome back. You were on the IL for a long time. And you're going up against Merrill Kelly, who has not been the best recently. So, yeah, this, yeah, 11 and a half might not be high enough. So, um, I've already looked at props, and I kind of chuckled when I got there. Let's go to, let's go to Antonio first. Now, given he hasn't pitched since May, so we know he doesn't have any props, but he does have history. Watch this. Look at these numbers. Uh, 571 at seven at bats. That's cool. 367 with 30 at bats. That's pretty impressive. 30 at bats, right? Yeah. Let me welcome you to Christian Walker's 519 over 27 at bats with two home runs, seven RBIs, and 1.4. What? <laughs> That's the wildest stat line I've seen all year. Um, 364 for 11 for Smith. So yeah, some of these dudes might just tee off on this dude. I don't see him pitching many innings. Uh, one, because he has probably has a pitch count. Two, he's going to get just lit up, I'm assuming, unless he just comes out on fire. Because history tends to repeat itself. So for the whole season, Arizona is a pretty decent team, both sides of the plate. We know this. 
Uh, no, 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 no props for you. I'm sorry. Nelson history. There's Colorado green for everybody. Home run and 506 at bats for McMahon. So yeah, and Colorado's lower tier offense, but there's still, it's in course field. So I shall be taking that over 11 and a half all day today. And I'm also going to take uh, Arizona on the money line just because I think their bats will do better. And then even though we come over to the bats and every, there's not a, there's one solo green, but everything else is here. I think by the end of the series, the, there'll be some greens here. So yeah, we'll take over 11 and a half and we'll take the Arizona money line and we'll move on to the next game. All right, next up we got Chicago White Sox and LA Angels. And you can see the Angels are 178, eight is your total. Both these teams are eliminated. So what's the point of him playing? So, I mean, let's be honest, look at the stats. Uh, yeah, both in the bottom seven, bottom 13 when it comes to runs. Uh, the White Sox have been doing better with bats. They did face Oakland. Uh, a lot of the White Sox logos for once. Interesting. Okay. Let's look at the who's pitching over here. We have Reed Detmers going back out there, and you can see how he's done in his two games. He's been pretty good for his two games. Can't complain. Eight, ten, and eight strikeouts. Uh, Chicago is second in the majors in strikeouts right now. That's weird. Okay. I tell you, some of these teams, just the, the young people try harder, and then you got people trying to hit incentives, but some of these veterans don't care. They're done. They're like, yeah, whatever. Cannon's going out there. We know what Cannon can do. Uh, we've seen him do it. Yeah. He's getting better, but yeah, yeah, no. To me, this game's a pass, as it should be. This game's kind of terrible. This, 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 I feel bad for people that have to watch this game. No. <laughs> Oh, let's look at the Canon stats and history. There's no history. Angels versus Rowdies. Guess what? They're not that good. Surprisingly, the team's eliminated. It's not good on offense. Shocking. Look at the props. Mm -mm, nope. I'm showing them for you. But I this game's a 100% pass for me. We look at the history for Detmers. Nothing really there. It's a home run for, but yeah. Uh, against lefties, uh, nothing stands out. Hits. Strikeouts. Yeah, this last couple of games have been good. And yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, this this is just a pass. This whole game is a pass. We'll show bats too. A lot of bat green. Okay, a lot of green bats out there. So if you're looking for some props, there you go. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. I hope you hit every play you've taken this game because I will be in the sideline watching something else. The weather channel i don't know something something's better than this game so yeah let's move on to the next game all right next up we got houston and san diego an actual good matchup hey uh pretty much a pick them seven and a half so it's total looking at the stats we see 53 percent nerfy we see lots of single digits because offenses are good because they're good teams three four and three on the winning streaks yeah nice little matchup there we go let's see who's pitching in this one uh oh we start off with spaghetti himself Spencer Argeny, um, zero strikeouts in point two because he got destroyed by Cincinnati last time before this. But he did decent against Oakland, but it was Oakland. We saw how good Oakland's doing right now. They're not doing good at all. So what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. So, uh, yeah, and he's going up against you. Well, you have a chance to win because now these are May. We don't care about these. We really just care about right here. What have you done lately? And you're two games back since you were back. You've done two and three earned runs, seven and four hits against Detroit and Seattle. Not the best offenses. So now you're going up against a good off, a much better offense. I mean, who knows what's going to happen? Let's look at the props. This is probably going to be a pass just because I don't know who to take because this is a good matchup. Like, this is something you want to watch. Let's, can we start with you? Yes, we are. And we see we have history like Gamble, 182. Hayward's basically one for 12, 0 for 3. Yeah, there's nothing there. Against Rodgers, Houston's pretty good. They're a pretty decent team. Looking at the props, strikeouts. Strikeouts are 11th. They're both tied at 11th at eight strikeouts in the last three games. So not feeling a strikeout prop against either one of these teams. Uh, let's look at Aragete. See if you have anything for us, because you didn't. No history. Uh, San Diego still loves facing righties all year. That has not changed. Even the two red ones are 290 and 266. So everyone loves facing righties here. Uh, let's look at your props. Outs. Strikeouts. Against San Diego. No shots. I could never. Could never. Would never. No. And the bats. Uh, to San Diego. Houston. San Diego. Houston. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, um... I mean, I lean San Diego, but I'll be honest. I just, this is just a good matchup. I don't see 
We got two really good pitchers. We got two good offenses. Everything matches up. This is a great matchup. So yeah, this is playoff worthy type matchup. So, but I got to pass because I see no advantages here. So I will just have to call it there. All right, that's it. That is all 10 games broken down today. Uh, for the money line parlay, let's go ahead and just crap that bad boy up real quick. It's going to be New York Mets. It's going to be Chicago White Sox. It's going to be Milwaukee. It's going to be Kansas City. And it's going to be Arizona. And I think we're going to just put them all together and just have a nice five game or see what happens today. Why not? So, um, yeah, we'll do that. On top of that, we had one, two, we have two other plays. So the worst we're going to do is 0 and 3. And the best we're going to do is a lot of units because a five game, a five leg parlay does great. If you want these plays typed out, don't forget, you can become a member via YouTube. You can just be signed up via Patreon. You can sign up for directly for Discord. Members get Discord access. You get to see all the plays. You get to see conversations, talk, all that good stuff. Also, uh, make sure to become, uh, go click the link in the description. You can get Outlier for a week for free. Get all this information. Awesome. You know about it by now, I'm sure. It's great. Check all that out. I uh, appreciate you being here. Um, you can see we're still, it's been a long season. We were at what, 15? Yeah, we're over 1,500 bets now, and we're still up 20 units on the season. We will take that. So I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate you liking. And hopefully all your bets end up green. I hope my bets end up green, and we can talk about how much green we made tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow for more baseball. Peace.